it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing another Costco haul with you. I feel like it has been forever since I have gone to Costco. I am out of all of my staples that I normally buy in bulk, so this is probably going to be an expensive trip. I'm just stuck in traffic right now waiting. So I'm going to go on in to the store, get what I need, and then when I get home I will show you what I got. So I am home now and it is actually the next morning. Adam and I had a dinner date last night and so I didn't have time to film this haul but I just basically kept everything out and then um, some of it I had to put in the freezer. So I spent $465 which is again more than I anticipated but I haven't been there since the beginning of July so let me show you what I got. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever bought shredded cheese at Costco. Normally I buy the smaller bags at the grocery store or I like to shred my own. But I did get some of the shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, we've been doing low carb kind of um, off and on but getting more back on it since we got back from vacation. And there are quite a few recipes that use the shredded mozzarella cheese in um, like what they call the fathead dough, so like pizza dough and low carb bagels that kind of stuff so i decided to get this they recommend the kind of shredded cheese that has potato starch apparently that works better for those recipes so i've actually already put this in the freezer uh, but i figured this would be a good thing to have on hand both for that uh, both for those low carb recipes and when i want to make the kids um you know like a quick uh pizza or something like that I also got some of the Campari tomatoes. Um, I like to get these when I'm at Costco. They are good for salad. They're also big enough that you can slice them and put them on sandwiches. So we will go through those pretty quickly. Uh, this is new at my Costco. This is the Beecher's uh, flagship cheese. If you guys are familiar with um, Beecher's, I believe they have a flagship store in New York. And I, they also have one in Seattle, which I've been to the one in Seattle. They have really good um, mac and cheese that's made with this cheese. And they were actually sampling this at Costco yesterday. Um, and so I ended up getting a block. This was a uh, pound and a half for $10.11. So it's a little bit pricey, but it's really good, like sharp, kind of like um, a white cheddar cheese. I also got a bag of limes. This is quite a large bag, but um, we do go through them for drinks and for cooking. I normally get the Kirkland bacon at Costco, but they were sampling this and it is the Pure Farms Applewood smoked bacon. It's a little bit more thick cut, so I decided to try this. It's a lot pricier. Um, there's three pounds in here. I can't remember exactly how much it was. Um, I haven't done this before, but if you guys would like me in the future to add prices to the video in my Costco hauls, let me know. I can like put those down. Um, on the bottom of the screen in the future if you guys are interested in that. Okay, I got some of the Columbus rotisserie seasoned chicken breast uh, lunch meat. The kids are back in school, so they will be taking sandwiches every so often. And then I also like to have this on hand. It's good to slice up and put in salads, or you can even just roll it up with a slice of cheese for like a low carb, high protein snack. It's really good. Um, I've gotten it before and we usually tend to go through it pretty fast. I got a package of strawberries. I like to slice those up on the weekends and uh, we can have them for breakfast or the kids can take them in their lunch or have them as a bedtime snack. <clears throat> um, I bought some salmon. Normally I buy the farmed salmon, but this actually uh, was on sale. It is the fresh wild sockeye salmon filet. Um, it's $8.99 a pound, so it's a little bit pricier, but it is the wild cut. So it looks like there's kind of two fillets in there. So what I'll actually do this weekend is portion this out and put it in the deep freeze so that I have it for meals when I need it. But my favorite place to get salmon is at Costco. I just think it's, it's really good salmon, and for the price, you really can't beat it. I had been out of my Kirkland butter for quite some time so I ended up getting a four pack of that. Costco is my favorite place to get butter and I've already put this in the freezer. It freezes really well and then you can just take it out um, package by package when you need it. 
Um, Costco is also my favorite place to buy frozen shrimp. This uh, two pound bag is around $15.99, which is a great price. And these are pretty big shrimp and they're good quality. Sometimes we um, like to make shrimp cocktail out of it or I will saute them in a skillet with butter and Old Bay seasoning, which is really good. So I needed some of that. They also had mayo on sale. I didn't need any quite yet, but this doesn't expire until April of 2019. So I'll just keep that in the pantry. I got some Capri Sun juice boxes for the kids to have for their lunches for school. We were out of those. And then I've been out of K-Cups from Costco for a little while also. Uh, we have a Hamilton Beach Flex Brew coffee maker. Let me show you. Um, it's this kind. I ordered it on Amazon. I can leave a link in the description box below. I actually got this recommendation from Leanne over at uh, Grady's Mom. She has a YouTube channel. Um, and I like it because you can brew the carafe or you can brew the K-Cups. The only thing I would say is that you kind of have to play around with which K-Cups you get because for a while we were trying like the Mick Cafe brand um, and I think the Seattle's Best and some different other ones and the K-Cups were like exploding in the machine and then getting coffee grounds in our cup. I'm not sure if anyone else has had that problem. But we found that the Starbucks brand K-Cups do not do that. So I have been buying those religiously. And this comes with 60 K-Cups. Uh, it was $5 off, so it was $30, which is a little bit pricey. But honestly, this box will last us quite a while. Adam doesn't like to drink hot coffee in the summer. I'm pretty much the only one that drinks it. So it's nice to have a K-Cup for just me in the mornings to take to work. Connor started kindergarten this year, and so his teacher uh, requested for parents to bring some snacks. He has about 20 kids in his class. They had these goldfish on sale for like, I think it was $6 or $6.99, but you get 45 of the little snack packs in there, and for $6, I thought that was a great buy. So I ended up buying a box of these. These will go to school uh, for his class, and they can get two uh, days worth of snacks out of that. I also bought some spices. I haven't, I don't think I've really ever bought spices before at Costco. Um, I bought peppercorn there before, but I don't think I've bought any of the other spices or spice blends, but I decided to this time get a couple <clears throat> containers. I use taco seasoning a lot, and this is a lot more price effective. This huge um, jar was only five dollars and you guys know if you buy the little packets they can be like a dollar a piece sometimes i make my own taco seasoning like with chili powder cumin stuff like that but honestly it's nice to have this on hand so this is the spice islands uh, premium taco seasoning so i will keep that in the cupboard for whatever we want tacos and then i also ran out of um garlic powder a lot so i just decided to buy this large package of the um, Kirkland granulated garlic and then I can refill my smaller jar when it gets empty. I also saw these. These are new. I haven't seen them at my Costco before. This is the Pretzilla Soft Pretzel Bread Bites and today's the 25th. They expire on the 3rd so I'll probably have to end up freezing some of these but you can see their little pretzel bites so I thought these would be fun for the kids to take in their lunches for school or just have for a snack with maybe like some lunch meat and cheese so I don't know they just they looked good they're not low carb um, so I probably won't be <laughs> eating very much of them but maybe Adam and the kids um, can eat those I also got these I'm trying to cut down not totally but buy less processed snacks for the kids but these are on sale for $4.99. I figured they would be fun for a back to school treat. There's 32 bags in there, and these are the Hello Panda chocolate cream filled cookies. Uh, Connor had a bag yesterday, and they kind of taste like the Keebler Elf sandwich cookies, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like with the shortbread and the chocolate in the middle. So I thought these would be a fun snack for them to take in their lunches when they take lunch to school. Um, it's not, the nutrition isn't too bad actually. One bag is only 110 calories and um, six grams of sugar. So they will think those are fun. 
Uh, I also picked up some almond flour. I don't know if my Costco has been carrying this for a while, if I've never seen it or just never looked for it. Um, but this huge bag is $11.99, which is a lot cheaper than I have found at other stores. Uh, they have it at Trader Joe's also, but it's a lot pricier. So I ended up getting a bag of this to keep in the pantry since we've been doing more um, low-carb and keto baking. I got Adam a 24-pack uh, of the sugar-free Red Bull. He's been liking to have this in the summer instead of coffee in the morning. He says it's really good over ice. So um, I got that for him. That'll last <clears throat> quite a while. And then we are planning on having a uh, cookout at our house on Labor Day. And Adam has a smoker. He likes to try and smoke different types of meat. And so we thought it would be fun uh, this Labor Day to smoke a brisket. So this is a whole beef brisket. It, we can see it's pretty pricey. It was $49.76. Um, overall, you know, 13 pounds, it's $3.79 a pound, so it's a pretty good price. This is a huge, huge cut of meat. But anyway, he likes to smoke different meats, and so he will um, take this out of the freezer several days before and thaw it out and smoke it up for Labor Day. I also got uh, another bottle of vodka. We always keep this on hand for just drinks or Bloody Marys. Um, Adam likes to have Bloody Marys on the weekends and this is actually a really good um, low carb drink option. Um, you can mix this with like, uh, my favorite is Diet Squirt and then put a little bit of low carb cranberry juice in there. It's really good. Squeeze a lime. Um, so this is actually <clears throat> pretty cheap. I think this vodka is only around $15 for this um, what is it? 1.75 liters, but it's comparable to like a good quality, you know, Smirnoff vodka. So that is really good. And then I got a package of um, Dixie paper plates. We didn't need these quite yet, but since I was there, I decided to get them. Uh, you get 285 plates for, I think it was around $12, which is a pretty uh, good price, I think, for those. I got some dog treats. These are the uh, jerky treats. They had these on sale also. I think they were around six or seven dollars, but it's a huge container, so I always buy those when they have them on sale. And then this finish jet dry. Uh, this was actually on sale. Buy one, get one free. So I got both of these huge bottles for $9.99, which I thought was a steal. So I won't have to buy that for a while. I like to use this in my dishwasher because I have a Bosch dishwasher and it's fairly new. Um, we just obviously built our house last year, so it's new, but it doesn't quite dry dishes like I'd like it to, and so this helps with that, so I was happy to pick that up. <clears throat> I actually saw this on uh, another YouTube channel, Amanda's Daily Dish. Um, I'll link her channel down below. You guys can check it out. She does a lot of um, similar videos to what I do, but she does more cleaning videos, which her cleaning videos are really good. But this is just a champion um, long sleeve shirt. It's really soft, and you can see that it kind of goes down low in the back and covers your butt. So if you want to wear this with leggings, um, I don't know. I thought it was very comfortable so I'll be looking forward to wearing that in the fall and the winter. I also picked up some of these Pyrex glass bowls. They had these on sale for $12.99 and you get four in there, two of the larger and two of the smaller. I'm always looking to stock up on my um, glass storage dishes so I got those. And then I was actually excited to see these Clorox toilet wands. I uh, love these things and we have four bathrooms so I have one in each bathroom and so I'm always needing the refills. I have been buying them at Walmart but I was really excited to see them at Costco so I picked them up. Um, this is a 36 pack so that will last a little bit for us. And then I also saw this on um, the YouTube channel She's in Her Apron. I'll link that down below too. You guys probably know um, Kimmy but we are running out of hangers constantly and so they had this package for $13. You get 50 of the non-slip hangers and these are nice to hang up dress clothes um, which I have quite a bit of <laughs> in my closet since I have to wear sort of business casual every day. So um, I'm going to work the next couple weekends on sort of getting some of my hangers switched out, giving the kids more of the plastic hangers. So that will be a good project for me to do. 
I also was running low on Ziploc bags, so they had these on sale. I ended up getting uh, just one pack. I kind of wish maybe I would have gotten two because we go through these pretty fast, but this comes with the uh, gallon bags, quart bags, snack bags, and sandwich bags. And then I got a package of bounty paper towels. We were out of those and then stocked up more on the Charmin toilet paper, which we were running low on too. And then the last thing I got is this um, jacket. It's like a kind of like a rain jacket, I guess you would say, but it's um, waterproof. It's kind of like a trench coat style. And I have a um, kind of like a trench coat style jacket that's black from Old Navy that I got several, several years ago, probably four or five years ago now. And it was just time to replace it with something new. So I ended up getting this. It was only $30 and I thought it would be nice to have for work when the weather starts getting a little bit chillier or if it's raining outside. Okay, so I thought I'd just try it on so you can kind of get a better look at it. But I ended up getting the XXL, which is true to size. I'm usually like, in an extra large or one X um, you can see that it has like some detail right here sorry if I'm not showing this but um, yeah it's a nice a nice jacket I thought and I like that it has a hood sorry um, so if it's raining that will be good okay guys so that's it that is my Costco haul for the month of August if you're new to my channel, I hope that you consider subscribing. I usually post a Costco haul every month, and I post grocery hauls and meal plans every week on Fridays. I also post a lot of other food-related videos and home-related videos. Um, I do a weekend prep series. I do uh, meal prep videos and uh, what I eat in a week videos. So yeah, I'd love it if you stick around. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.